Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Taylor Rodan. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing an Okan Fumari for you folks. It's like a Bruce Lee kind of a thing. Well it's supposedly Bruce Lee in a way. Yes, this one here folks. Um this is the American version of course I'm reviewing, obviously. Just so you know. So yeah, of course, right off the bat, the dubbing of course isn't exactly gonna be great. But this film, of course, just like with many foreign films released over the years, there was like many uh, DVD copies, different versions and collector's editions that came out over the years. So to get the proper version of this film can be rather, you know, complicated. So, yeah, again, I'm just trying to do my best here to review these kinds of movies. And though it can be rather hard. So, you know, with that in mind, I guess I'll just get my cup of joe. Oh, yeah. Gotta have my cupboard every single day, folks. Yes, sir. It's my little treat to myself, I guess you would say. Yeah, finding these kinds of movies, like I said before, can be rather hard to do because you just don't know when to go. It's like you go in the dark, like like a small flashlight, so to speak. It's like going in the dark, and what what to go, whatever. And um, of course, it's in my it's in my uh, list of stuff to review. Oh boy, There's a lot of stuff to review. That's the thing, folks. <sighs> but it's okay though. It gives me something to do. I honestly don't mind it really, so there was that. Hey Rocky, wanna watch some Kung Fu movie with me? Yeah man, it's been a while. Come on little buddy. I've been talking about that Kung Fu movie, so we shall watch a few of them together. Alright, you're just being all comfy, okay. I'm fine, now. have it your way then. God. Well, anyway, I guess this is gonna be a review of another low budget, obscure title, I guess you can say. I'm guessing we're supposed to pretend like Bruce Lee is still alive in here, folks, because it's supposed to be like one of his movies, apparently. So anyway, with that being said, let's just get into it, shall we? So here we go, folks. Let's talk about the plot and whatnot. So in this feature, we get to see that there was this story that is tell between two gangs. Each opposing group is hopelessly divided on this issue of... So on things that they're talking about their territories, both gangs cross the, the sides of the law, and of course, you know, we have our main character trying to do what's right, of course, so it gets pretty crazy right from the start, which I don't mind, of course, and there'll be lots of fists don't have been th tossed around, you know, they'll be talking about the fighting over uh, warfare between two territory and between the two gangs, of course. So yeah, that's pretty crazy in a way, folks. So an explosive story where these bunch of kicks and whatnot in this storyline. And I can say that each gang has their own thing going on, of course. Obviously. So I can say that this is pretty insane in its own, in its own little way. That's the basic premise of this. And of course, I don't want to give away too much. This is a, a rather low budget feature. Uh, that was made by, you know, quote unquote, Bruce Lee being in it, but you know, it's, it's really someone else. And of course, they don't specify which character, you know, Bruce Lee played in. I know each movie that Bruce Lee was in when he was alive, he played a different character. So I don't know which character he's supposed to be playing in, but I'll just take it as what it is, I guess. The film itself isn't, isn't exactly bad, really. I quite enjoyed it myself. Um... Yeah, it does star this one actor as well. Yeah, this guy, this guy right here. And surprisingly, he actually was in one of Bruce Lee's pictures when he was alive. So, of course, uh, it's not a surprise to see him here. He was actually in quite a few Kung Fu movies over the years. He was in a lot of, and I mean, I mean a lot of Kung Fu movies and pictures over the years. So, I guess it doesn't come off that surprising, really. So, anyway, so I do think it's a good thing he showed up for a little while. So he's definitely one of the old school actors for this kind of a genre. So he, he's uh he's well known in his own right, I guess you can say, which is fine by me. So anyway, if you have not seen this one yet, folks, I'll say check it out. Just keep in mind, you know, of course the dubbing, like I said earlier, isn't exactly good. I mean it's not terrible, the act the dubbing isn't exactly the worst I've seen, but you know, it's still even even that voice acting is actually halfway okay, it still needs, you know, some stuff to be fixed, of course. I you know, so I'm not surprised there. Yeah. So anyway, but the uh, uh, it's always difficult enough, like I said before, to find the actual version of these kinds of movies. It's always difficult as enough as it is. 
and then top of that the 1987 UK uh, video version was cut by uh, s uh, some seconds to remove any close-ups you know of women's bodies because nudity you all know is bad or anything that has to do with you know forest sex or anything in regards of you know of nudity, violence, or anything too violent to say. So a lot of the stuff was edited out if he has, you know, nudity. Yeah, this version I watched did contain some nudity, but it, but in other versions, the uh, the nudity was edited out, or the, I guess you would say the, the violence was shortened, depending on the scene itself, how graphic it may have been with the violence. The scene itself could have been shortened, or maybe zoomed in in a different area, so it makes it even look more weird. So, what the hell ever, I guess. So, yeah, to get the proper version of this film can be rather difficult, like I was saying earlier. But if you can actually stub across the actual unedited version with its original native language, they be my guest and get it. So, but with the version I, I watched and I'm reviewing, it's, it's a pretty solid movie for what it's worth. At the end of the day, I could do a hell of a lot worse than this, I guess. At least I didn't feel like I wasted my time with this movie. I do like the premise, and I do like the fact that it's pretty straightforward. And it doesn't necessarily need to be dragging on too many things and whatnot. So that's a good thing there. So, I guess you can say that, you can say this is a Bruce Lee film, but loosely. It's very loosely in the name of the terms of that. Yeah, as long as you keep that in mind, I guess you enjoy it. The overall premise isn't exactly bad, so there's that. I like the idea here. And I just kind of wish that, you know, some people could actually dig into obscure movies and whatnot and give them more proper releases. I mean, I guess you could find the original version if you can actually, you know, dig around a little bit. Just keep it in know, it's laying right now, it's going to take quite some time. And it will take quite some time for you to do that. But, I'm not going to get the dialogue really about it in this film because the dialogue, I'll be basing on the dub version. Yeah. And if you want to meet the type of dialogue, it's the dialogue itself is it's okay, I guess. The uh, uh, but um, but anyway, I don't want to get too much of that because, like I said, you would get the point. The dubbings of these films aren't exactly great. It, it didn't bother me so much that it was cheaply made, really, because I, I'm used to the kind of thing anyway. I, I used I'm used to watching really low, cheaply made films with low with low production value. In some ways, it kind of gives it its charm, so I don't mind it really. So anyway, this film, it gets an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It's a 6.8 out of 10 because overall, it's a pretty solid film. And I do highly recommend it. So, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. Oh yeah. See ya.